All right, welcome back. It's Wednesday, and that means we're doing some cooking. I love cooking in the springtime because there's so many great things that are in season at the store. And asparagus is the number one springtime item. Mostly we think of it as a side dish, but today I'm gonna to incorporate it into a pasta with chicken dish. And you wanna scan this QR code that's on your screen if you wanna get today's recipe, but let's start off. I've been making some of the pasta. I've been making the grilled chicken with vegetables that we'll assemble in a minute, but I wanna show you how easy it is to assemble uh, a pesto that is made of pasta. It has no basil in it. it. The main ingredient is asparagus. And this is about a pound of asparagus that I just slightly uh, roasted up a little bit and chopped up. That goes into the food processor, along with a couple of handfuls of fresh spinach. And then the rest of the ingredients are pretty standard fare pesto items. Got about a cup of Parmesan Reggiano. Got about a cup of roasted pine nuts. And uh, a few cloves of garlic that will go in uh, also. A couple of squeezes of lemon. And then the food processor is going to do all the work. We're going to uh, just watch this turn into an amazing paste that will then go on the pasta. And then this grilled chicken that I made, I'll tell you how I did that in a minute. Uh, coming up in just a second here. But let's get the food processor going. I just want to let this sort of go a little bit by itself. And then throw in the olive oil. The olive oil is what is going to turn this into a paste. You may need to just mix it around a little bit. Get all the ingredients fully worked in. After a couple of minutes. A little more oil. And it's gonna to start to go to town. I don't know how closely you can see, you can't really from that angle, but it's really starting to mix up inside here. And really that's all there is to the uh, pesto. This is gonna go on top of the pasta that I already made. You can use any kind of pasta that you want. Uh, I chose this uh, farfalle, this little bow tie pasta. So uh, just cook that to al dente. And then the uh, chicken, I use chicken breast for almost everything now. It's so much more flavorful, it's less expensive. And uh, I just sauteed it up. And uh, here, let me show you. Here is, here is the, uh, the, fr the pesto, it's done. It's done uh, just that fast and it's got just a very, very light asparagus uh, taste to it. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the cheese and the pine nuts in it. I already mixed it in here with the uh, prepared pasta, just to save a little time. But let's put the pasta at the base of the serving platter. Look how, just how springtime, that, that just screams springtime. And then the grilled chicken parts, uh, chicken thighs rather, are gonna go on top of that. I also sauteed some onions, caramelized some onions with the chicken thighs and also some mushrooms. You can you know, do them any way that you want to, but this is just a fantastic, combination. And don't forget all those chicken juices and just let it all go all over the top. How nice that looks. The top of that then, saved a few pieces of asparagus. That'll go over everything. And finally, some more roasted pine nuts to finish it off. And in no time at all, you have this amazing spring dish Utilizing asparagus as something other than a side dish. Asparagus, pesto, pasta with chicken. You can get today's recipes by scanning the QR code that's on your screen with your smartphone. You can go to wgntv.com slash deancooks 
or we automatically send those recipes out every uh, day when you uh, text the word cooks to 97999. Enjoy your springtime eating. We'll be right back.